I don't think I figured out what I want to do until even working at jobs. It's more like opportunities arose and I kind of just took them on, you know? And I still think that's kind of where it's at. It's like, if you want to close the door and make it very narrow about what your end game is when you're 21, I think that's a crazy thing to do. Uh, my name is Kiji, I'm from Brooklyn, uh, from Manhattan, uh, my illustrator. I started working in advertising design when I was 16, and then I went to Nepal and I studied painting. I lived there for like six months. During this crazy period, it was like bombs going off because there was a revolution, so it was seriously like, you know, riots in the streets, but it's also Nepal, so there was like holy festivals and all this crazy shit happening. And here I am on a fucking bicycle riding around at 16, 17, riding around to go like, you know, learn how to do Buddhist Tibetan painting in the studio with a bunch of other dudes who just sit there and just paint all day these deities. Imagine, you know, a full image, six by six feet, that's thousand armed deities and there's 20 of them with backgrounds and people sit there with a like, tiny little brush, just brushing it in. And that's where I learned patience. Right when I was about to go to school, that cool guy stuff, like the street, kind of like street culture, like streetwear, graffiti being popular again in galleries because it wasn't for 20 years in New York, so like that was kind of scoffed at. All this stuff started becoming popular right around when I went to college, you know? So by the time I came out of school, that was, you know, A-Life and companies like that were obviously blowing up, but that wasn't like the go-to thing for why you'd leave or go to school. So that was never even, even when I got offered to like go work with people, whatever, it wasn't like what I consider a real job to go to school four years for, you know? So I worked at normal advertising firms doing boring stuff for like Domino's or whatever their client was, you know? Like it was a, a job, it's an occupation. It wasn't about like, cause that's what cool dudes did and like wore cool clothes. It's like some 40 year old guy is gonna tell me what to do and I'll be the guy in front of the computer doing and actualizing that stuff, you know? So the thing is that if you, if you have something that actually moves forward and becomes actualized by the client and you're not happy with it, you have to then in the next time not just sit there and live in the past and be frustrated by that. You're gonna be frustrated, but then the next time like learn how to not make that mistake. But it's just crazy how rare out of however many projects you work on in the year, how many, just how few actually move forward and how many that were really great ideas that you were in love with, like sit on the wayside. And you can't fall in love with your work. It's literally just like, Half the time you're just throwing shit out there until something actually works, you know?